Leo, Leo, Leo. We are looking at a really positive uncoupling. Now, normally an uncoupling isn't even a word I would use, but it makes me think about Love Island firstly, and when you couple up, and it's saying, let this person know that life is nothing more than an episode of Love Island at the time. I know it doesn't feel like it because there's always drama, there's always stuff going on, and it's serious, it's not a TV show, but every now and then, you choose who you wanna couple up with, and they spend the week in your bed, then you realize they're not for you, you uncouple and you find another. That is not encouraging casual sex in any way, for celibacy is great for the spiritualist, but I'm not gonna advocate for anything other than you finding your way out of this situation, because I feel like you've come to a stalemate in a connection that you're in, and the uncoupling of this connection is what's really going to let you heal okay so you could have been seeing someone for a while now two weeks dating someone for two weeks three weeks coming up to four weeks but not more than four weeks so less than a month you've been seeing this person and already you know it's not it that's okay that's how it works we get out there we date okay just think of it as an episode of love island that's what the guide said to me when i first came in so we'll hold that energy yeah you are grounded you are stable you are strong don't worry too much about this if this person isn't really for you and you didn't enjoy it and you don't want to keep going down this road because you could already tell that this is not quite it and guess what you've learned the lesson you've learned the cycle you've been through the experience next yeah get back on that dating app get back on that phone carry on talking to other people Go slow, have confidence in you being independent because there's no need to rush. If you need to heal, cry, have an upset moment, grieve this person or grieve the feeling of being single again because it is that kind of energy of you're really trying to ground yourself in dating and getting out there but it didn't work out and now you feel a little defeated. So on Tuesday night, you eat a few spoons of ice cream from the from the from the ice cream tub independently because you're single and live alone and you can watch sex in the city in ice cream and then you can put the ice cream away wake up the next day head to the gym shift your energy and then go on another date talk to somebody else tell your family and friends about what's happened continue to be committed and grounded to you focus on your career focus on what that person didn't have for you and what you want to see more of in the next person continue to manifest someone who knows how to give you all of what you want how do you know what you want if you're not out there exploring and learning you have to learn about yourself I say that knowing I don't date a lot to be honest so I'll say that loosely there's two different ways you can go about this you throw yourself into the lion's den and you date 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 learning all the nooks and crannies of people and what you do and don't like or you just focus on yourself internally and you devote yourself to you but that's a really different discipline because it takes a lot of hermit energy and you've got to be really inside yourself and okay with being alone really really deeply at the core I always recommend that but there's always got to be a balance of get out there have fun versus come in and sit with self so understand the ratio of two if you've just gone out there and had a date and was dating someone for four weeks and that's definitely not it then take the next few four weeks to go within and ground you again and four weeks from now do you know what fine i'll accept that date that that guy offered fine how what are you doing on tuesday night what are you doing next week wednesday let's let's go for it you know let's go for coffee let's go for drinks let's go to that bar go to places that you like let's go to that club let's go to that sauna let's go to that spa let's go to that steam room let's go on that adventure weekend let's go on that experience let's go on that random trip Do you know i saw this random thing would you be into that like start exploring different stuff go for it feel like you're on a dating app or um maybe even with a dating consultant something like that getting yourself out there a little bit more in a, in a different way so loads of different ways to date and kind of go for it or you could just be people on instagram that you've got lined up who you kind of connect with and suddenly they're like oh you're single let me know what you're up to let's go for it you know this could even be dating um the same sex this could also be branching out in the kind of people that you date as well i see here because i feel like there's a new beginning or something that you kind of want to try and i feel like 
you're more open to that after the relationship you just had i mean the dating experience you just had i see you opening up a lot more like damn yeah i'm gonna try this now i think i'm ready to go this way i don't like i'm not swerving anyone or pushing anyone down any kind of route but whatever it is it's quite different and it, it may not just be gender related it could be anything but you're trying something that you wouldn't normally do but you've always kind of wanted to try and that's nice for you because that's potentially the way you're meant to be going because i think whatever the habit or kind of we get we get go for a type don't we i think your type's changing i think that your type is changing and the reason you were stuck with your old type for so long is because you weren't sure what to say to the new type that you want because it's a new challenge but there is the Wheel of Fortune coming out with that. It's really cool because I feel like you're really bored with the kind of type that you've been going for. And I think this change in your type, oh, you're manifesting, yeah. You're, gonna, you're manifesting somebody in who is totally different to your old type and who really fulfills you. Oh, I don't know how long this is going to take, so I don't know how much I should tell you. But it looks really good, Leo. Remember, these are general readings. They're not for everyone, so I don't want everyone to pin their hopes on this being them. If it resonates, it resonates. If you know this story has been 90% you, then we can kind of say that this is kind of you. 80% you, we start going, 70%, mm, 60%. We start falling down in the ratio of viewers and how much you all believe that this is you in the moment, right? Because we all share realities. We're all collectively viewed in and um, living off, off our collective consciousness you know and synchronicity is real but this is 100% for at least one of you and 90 we go down to 99 to 98 to 97 to 96 every minute we tick tock away here you know but what I do what I do see is someone potentially going for a total different style of masculine or a total different style of feminine or a total same sex in a total different way and opening up to different culture, belief systems, religion, age, everything's off the table. Whoa, Leo, you're taking everything off the table for this. Age is off the table, height is off the table, culture, race, religion, background, gender's off the table. I've just told, I've just spoken to a Leo who's just gone, do you know what? After what I've just been through, I'm gonna take them all off the table. Oh, I'm going, you, you, you're reconstructing. I'm looking at a Leo who has just realized that they've glitched the matrix and they can build whatever they want now. And they've just gone onto the game Sims and started to go, right, let me build the man I want. Let me see. Let me build the woman I want. Let me see. Let me build the person that I want. Let me see. I'm going to make it look like this. A bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of that. What star sign would be good? Um, what else would they be into hobby-wise? Let me see. So you could be doing a, what do you call it? A um, love match. Like a, what do you call it? A matchmaker. You could be going to a matchmaker for this. You could be saying, matchmaker, hook me up. You could, like, over the next month, the matchmaker's going to be working in the background going in and out and finding the perfect matches for you and you're telling them what you want you then scrap what i told you last month starting again this is my new match desire or starting a new account if you're using online for that sounds really cool sounds really awesome sounds like you're gonna find someone who's a match remember you've got the next four weeks to get through to get rid of that old dating energy and really start accepting what you're open up to now and there's a whole new um, arena to play in so you're going to feel so different in this so let that be and go with it okay have fun be amazing stay powerful and keep us posted in the comments hit the like and subscribe feel free to share more but if not i'll be back with the love readings in a month and every other week every week we've got other stuff going on here for your zodiacs or your earth signs and general collective readings as well so getting stuck in i've also got positive affirmations divine masculine and feminine channeled messages over on her 70 consciousness and i have loads of debates on hermitology.me as well so go and peruse look around find yourself we're everywhere love and light